Oh, I've only gone and scratched the bloody truck. Getting the kayak on there. I'm putting it on there this morning. So I think I've got to get some uh, tea cut. Try and get these scratches off. What pain in the bum that is. The kayak's back on the roof and I managed to lock it actually through the uh, the kayak itself. So you've got the like, drain holes at the top. So as the kayak's locked and it's on there proper solidly. Ready for the journey home. So yeah, I'm a bit miffed about it. Oh, bloody hell. Scratching it there and scratching the uh, the top as well. It's a real pain in the ass. So let's try tea cutting it. If not, I've got to get it done. So. Stickers. I can see how much longer I've got on the uh, parking. Oh, I'm walk into pool and get some breakfast. So see you in a moment. Bye. So here we are, walking along the uh, pool harbour. It's funny to think that only half an hour ago I was paddling along in that. It did seem a lot fiercer from down there than it did from up here. Yeah, so I think I've got an hour and a quarter on the car. It looks really peaceful and tranquil down there. But it's quite, it was getting quite choppy before I got out. Gutted about the scratches of the car. Yeah, I'll see you when I get into. Ooh. See you in a moment. Bye. There we go, there's a bit of history about Paul Harbour just coming in now. So from this key, 60 cutters of the United States Coast Guard, Rescue Fatilla, uh, depart to res Rescue Fatilla 1, departed for Normandy invasion, 6th of June 1944. These 83 foot boats built entirely of wood and the 840 crew members were credited with saving the lives of 1,437 men and one woman in remembrance of the service rendered by res the Rescue Fertilla 1 and in appreciation of the kindness of the people of Paul, the crews this plaque is given by men and women of the United States Coast Guard. There you go, there's the lifeboat museum. I'm hoping there's not too much wind at the moment because it's quite breezy. But that's the old uh, lifeboat station, Paul lifeboat station. And I think it's actually in our museum but sadly it's closed. Um, <clears throat> you'll see, yeah, Royal National Lifeboat Institution, Paul Old Lifeboat Station. I doubt they'd fit one of the new lifeboats in there anymore. I'm just making my way into uh, Paul Harbour. And I know along here there's going to be some boats that you're just going to go wow about because I think they've got the, um, the one of the big boat manufacturers based down here. Sea fishing, four hour all day trips, families working, charters and jobs. I can't remember the name of the boat company, it's based down there. Been down there a few times. <clears throat> I think this is the last day of good weather and it all changes. That's not very fishy on here. Fishing gear. Sunseeker. <laughs> Look at that for a boat. <sighs> Lovely. I wasn't brave enough to come this far in the uh, kayak. 
One day, my confidence is growing a bit more. Let's check how, how the window is. It's a little bravia. Don't see that, do me? Something like that. It's got a little idea sale. Luxury Charter. God. See, the last time I came here it was with, during one of the lockdowns, and it was dead. So here we go, just going into the main part of the pool where the wash shops are on the, uh, on the front. So a lot of them are still closed. Fish and chips places because it's early. Let's see how big it's foolish to uh, kayak along here. That was very foolish. <laughs> Ferry and Harbour Cruise. I could take Mrs. B for a cruise to Brainsy Island and back. It doesn't, I don't think there's anywhere I want to stop and eat in the pool, not today. I'm not going to go into the town, I think we've done that before. So there goes the phone, so I'll uh, see you in a moment. Hi. <coughs> Definitely going to have to do that one day. A bit strange doing it on my own. So Mrs B and I are allowed to come down here with the ferry to Brainsy Island. National Trust breaks the island, see? Let's join the National Trust. Maid of the Harbour. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome aboard to Maid of the Harbour. Let's have your attention for a minute this morning to our race and safety. Thank you, gentlemen. If you'd like to be back to the boat, please, if you're a group of seven short, or if I'm on the bus,
Sunbank Cruise Viewing, Billionaires Row, Stop and Bay, Old Bay Rocks, Bournemouth. I'm heading back to the car now, but I have no idea where I'm going to go to next. I always end up going to Bournemouth, but I'll be around today. Well, I can say to Ark, because the wind's a bit blowy. So anyway, wait. And look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm changed tonight. There's going to be thunderstorms tonight, about 3am. Oh, it's tomorrow morning really, but getting much colder. So you've got to enjoy this. Oh, it's, it's probably a little bit too hot today still. I think the temperature's going to be about 27, 28 today. So that's still pretty good. It's very good. Uh, see, I think the tide's coming in. Because normally when we come down here, you can see that slip. So I think the reason uh, I think the reason the sea was so choppy when I went out in the kayak is because the tide was coming in. So note to self, next time we come kayaking, take a look at the tide signs. There okay. we go. Look at that. I was out in that. Having like a nutcase. I'm not brave enough one day. I want to go over to Brainsy Island. That's a long way. I think the currents are pretty gnarly out there. Plus, I saw a Stenner Line ferry. Uh, like catamaran. Going out, and you don't want to get stuck in front of one of those. Or even one of those power boats or sailboats. You don't want to see me in my little kayak. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Imagine that being your house. But these houses, the, the, the design, are the old Maricourt houses or council houses. So, at one time or another, these houses could have been local authority housing. My God, I wish they worth money. That's is on a postcard. I want to live by the sea. Oh, he's having a good time, isn't he? Max would never do that. God. <laughs> Max definitely isn't a swimmer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Motor caravans. Please use car parks. So they might have had problems down here with people in their motor, motor caravans parking willy-nilly or even nilly-willy Yeah, the tide's definitely coming in I don't know what the audio is going to turn out like Let's say that again I don't know what the audio is going to turn like in this video because of the wind So, right, I'm going to say goodbye again now and uh, I'm going to go to the car, 
truck. It's got scratches on it. And I can see uh, where we're going to go next. It's like a magical mystery adventure. So anyway, bye.